day 49. I didn't post on day 50, which is when I decided to just get on the freaking horse and get my ass in gear. Some diet stuff has been going on for about the last month. Uh, helpful to not be hitting it all at the same time. But uh, so a lot more protein and a lot far fewer carbs and um, not seeing the needle move a, a great deal, but felt better. Um, but then there some of the protein <clears throat> trying to get back to dairy, it's not working out. It, it's the inflammation. It, it's so painful. I can't deal. So yeah, no more cottage cheese, but um, there are many alternatives. I am so lucky and privileged in this world to be able to uh, attempt to look for the alternatives that I would use for so many great recipes that I see on TikTok. Uh, but 50 days from getting on an airplane to Alaska. And if I don't have to use a seatbelt extender, that is my goal. Uh, and also not have to spend the 50 bucks <laughs> I usually have on me when I get on an airplane with my fat ass because I, I want to give something to the person who is sharing their seat with me against their will. <laughs> I really feel like it's just fair. I don't think that's fat phobia. Although the fat phobia was roaring pretty hard today. Um, all the thoughts when when people came into the pool, I specifically chose the time thinking it would be a little few, far fewer people, but a couple people came in and and it, it's fine. I could turn my body and just deal with my life and be fine. But I did initially have those stupid thoughts like, okay, well I should I'm gonna have to. Well now I can't get out because they're gonna look at me and see my legs and. I didn't wear long enough shorts or I didn't cover up well enough because it's only fair. That's what you do when you're this fat. You don't want to really make anybody else look at it. Seriously. Seriously. And now I was thinking I should get out of the pool because they're going to actually work out. I'm just here piddling around. Much anti-Kim, anti-fat, anti-woman, anti-bunch of crap. Like, I don't get to take up space on the planet. What's going on? And then <laughs> the oppositional teenager piece of me that's been very big for a good 15 years now. Uh, reared right up. <laughs> and very challenged looks at people who are, you know, underwater. They're fine. Woo! 